what's going on guys just a quick video today you probably saw one of my last videos that broke the light that went on my end mill so we're gonna little corner here broke off so we're gonna make a new one real quick uh, just kind of out of aluminum um, probably hold up a little better so all right let's take care of this Okay, so I made a little block out of this. You can probably see that my saw doesn't really cut super straight. So we're going to throw it on the end mill real quick and just kind of true up the corners. And then we'll uh, start marking off uh, where our points have to be. So we can drill uh, at least two holes, if not four, um, and then a large hole on the top so that we can actually slide the light post kind of into it. So let's true it up real quick and then we'll start marking off to drill the rest of the mounting holes. If anybody out there that are machinists or they own an end mill and they don't have the power up and down on their end mill bridge port, uh, they'll understand why this pretty much sucks because we got to bring the table up to match. Okay, so we got all the sides trued up, nice and square now. Uh, they're not all over the place. So, not perfect, but it'll work fine for what we do. Probably could have used a different end mill to clean it up a little better, so, but no worries. Okay, so we're gonna just do a couple markings on here, actually a few of them, so we can get the four holes drilled on the side. Uh, so that way we can mount it actually to the casing of the end wheel on the side. So, okay, let's mark some holes off and then uh, we'll drill the rest of the holes. Okay, now I just cranked the table uh, up. Well, we had to switch over to drill bits, so now we get to crank it back down. There we go. Okay, so the two mounting holes are mounted. We're gonna take it, uh, I'm gonna have to tap another hole, but you can kind of see where it's gonna go. We got one hole already tapped from the previous uh, little mount that was there. We'll just have to put another one over on this corner. Okay, now the next thing we gotta do is up on top here, we're gonna have to drill a hole through. Uh, that way we can get the actual bottom of the light down into it so we can mount it into place. So, okay, let's mark this off real quick and then we'll drill the next hole. There you have it. So it's made. I'm just going to clean it up real quick, and then all we got to do is uh, drill and tap one hole, stick it in, and then we're done. That's it. Okay, the easiest way to do this is probably just, uh, we're going to use the existing hole. We'll take this screw in, and we're just going to go ahead and use this as the template. And we can actually just drill right through the existing hole that was right here. Now, honestly, I probably could have made this out of steel, and then just welded the block to it and would have been done. But, I don't know, the aluminum looks high performance, so, I don't know, maybe we just added a few more horsepower to the end mill because of it. So, okay, drill the hole real quick. Alright, 
let's see if it works. All right, there you have it, guys. Thanks again for watching. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. See you next time. Thanks.